I'm definitely a child of film. I, I spent a lot of time shooting film years and years ago, sort of thing, and then, then dropped the medium as children and marriage came along. Um, and then actually moved back into, because of digital, I, I actually, I won a camera through a, a, a two-bit competition and started bushwalking again at the same time. So I got a free camera and I'm walking, I thought, oh, I really enjoy this. So, so obviously that went out the window and I brought another digital camera and, and believe it or not, that got stolen. So I brought another one and that got stolen. It sounds a bit more like, more like a Monty Python routine than a, um, than a, a camera story, but I had about three break-ins in our house. So I kept losing cameras. So I kept upgrading to the point where I went, oh, I'm now gonna buy a four by five for some reason. And that was about seven years ago now, I suppose. So I brought a four by five and fell back into film shooting four by five, eight by 10, um, a lot of pinhole sort of work. Um, and over the last 12 months, I've been playing around with color type and carbon transfer. We're in Melbourne, yes, in downtown, it's downtown Southern Australia. It's about 20 degrees outside at the moment. The sun's out and, and uh, 8.30 in the morning, it's beautiful. Well, I saw an image of yours that I thought was pretty striking. I, I believe it was yours. It was online the, as a mangrove tree um reflecting and and there's uh the composition is such that there's like another kind of outcropping just before the tree and it's just a black and white image does it sound familiar to you oh uh, yeah, yeah that, that's that's mine yeah that was when i was playing about well, playing around with with um making digital i started making digital negatives i i, I enjoy moving around by myself and i think photography is like that like I, I'd hardly pick up a camera when people are around I like getting out into the bush and sort of just enjoying the solitude of it and and the process so some, sometimes to me it's not necessarily the final image it's the well what's the whole process it's go out take the photo and developing make the prints it's it, 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 yeah it's, a, it's like painting but not painting I suppose you, you're hands-on all the way but my thought process behind why I make images, it's, it is, it's just I enjoy it more than anything. I get together with half a dozen different large format photographers every, probably every three or four months now, sort of formed a little bit of a group and, uh, and we might just go out somewhere for the weekend, take some photos or we'll just go back to someone's place, have a coffee, and, you know, and, and just discuss what images have been made and who's made what and what they've been doing. And it's a, a, a real community for, between probably a, a dozen of us at the moment, it's, it's good. It, it came through like, got that Gold Street Studios has what they call the gathering, which happens every 12 months. And it's a group of large format photographers that have been, and they've been doing this for 10 years. Um, they get together every 12 months and they come from all around Australia. We have Queensland, Perth, Tasmania. And then this has been probably an offshoot of that. So. Uh, but we just like because we're together, we're local. Um, we get together sure. more often. Some of the guys who are into it, they're just the way they they can teach you, and, and you just aim higher. But what they're doing, because some, some of these guys, there's one guy called David Tatnell. You know, he's got works in the Victorian Gallery, and you know, and does all works for national parks, and he's so open with what he does, and. And sharing and, and there's other blokes that are just really good at what they do they're not professionals they've just done it for a long time and happy to share and then you've got myself in the middle row then you've got new people who haven't done anything and have just brought a speed graphic and want to know how to use it so and they're just as welcome to come along as anyone else and it, it works really well i must admit oh yeah I, I've, I've been married for god oh, seems like years now about 25 26 years congratulations um and i've got a daughter who's oh yes yeah, some of us don't survive but some of us do um <laughs> and i have a daughter who's 22 <laughs> so she's just finished university and working part-time at an insurance company at the moment like a mother and father are and, and dying because we, we spent our whole life teasing her that she's gonna end up in insurance if she doesn't work but work out something <laughs> And now she has, <laughs> and now she's determined not to. <laughs> Started there and it was supposed to be three months and it's been extended and extended until January this year. And, and then I think she's gonna head back overseas. She's a, 
a big fan of America, so I think she wants to go back to New York. New York is definitely a spot that I, I admire as well. I've taken two uh, remote shots uh, in New York, one of a street scene in, in uh, Times Square, and also two nights ago, I, uh, three nights ago, I took a photograph of the Hot Jazz Festival in Lincoln Center. We were there oh, prob probably two years ago now, and I, I don't think I actually enjoyed it though until I got home. I suddenly realized where it was and what I was doing. It was quite interesting because for a while there, especially with being with two girls, I felt like I was getting dragged around a shopping, shopping center for a while. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so it was, oh, here's Sephora, here's Sephora, here's Sephora. It's the same shop. <laughs> you know, but we're just going into all the different boroughs. And it was only when I come home, about three months afterwards, I thought, uh, yeah, I'd go back. I, I want to go back sort of thing. All right, I'm going to pull my plate right, now, my and plate now. in a moment, I'm just going to, I'm going to wipe it off, and then in a moment, you're going to hear me count down from three, okay. and then you'll be good to go. All right, Steve, remember to look into the camera. Right, Steve, remember to look into the camera. On three, three, on three. Two, one. three two, one. I think that was a really good one. That's interesting. I've got, uh, I think this might be the sharpest portrait I've taken actually, which surprises me given the uh, distance that we are. Usually I get a, a breakdown in the, uh, in the bandwidth, you know, it'll cause problems, but this is great. This is really good. So you're, you're projecting the, the image onto the wall. So you're not actually taking, well, I suppose it would have been a, a very small print if you're taking it off the screen. So you're projecting onto the wall as what, a square sort of thing or? It's actually probably only about a three by two projection. Um, yep, I should, yep. Yeah. So yeah. this so turned yeah, out, square, out really, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it could project much larger, but I, I keep it kind of tight. And then the interesting thing about it is the DLP technology that this projector uses creates kind of a pixelated looking, uh, image because it's actually thousands of small mirrors that are reflecting light. And so it, it, oh, okay. it lets you know that this is not a traditional camera portrait. I show you now, I'm, I'm actually really excited about this image. I'm glad you participated. Um, I'm gonna get, try to get this over my computer without spilling the, wa the water onto it. Yeah, 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 that ruined the computer over it. Can you see that? I can see. Is it dark or is it just the light? Oh, it's very, it's very dark on the one side of you, but it makes it a, I think it's yeah. kind of an interesting. It looks, actually, yeah, it's a bigger portrait than I expected, I must admit. Yeah. So that's what, six by, six by eight, is it? Yep, it, almost exactly. It's an eight and a half by six and a half, which is the traditional full plate. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a full plate. Pretty uh, compelling shot of you, actually. It's, it's, it's quite interesting oh. with that dark, we'll call it the dark side of the moon. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see. <laughs> My wife thinks I hate people and, and don't like meeting people. And generally she's right, but <laughs> I, I must admit I enjoy meeting people doing something in the photography community. So I'm glad we had a chance to meet and I would love it if you would send me yeah. um, some samples of your work that I can include in the video.